Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Nashville, Tennessee with Auditors of America, Last Days of Freedom, Jeremiah. As he attempts to grift more money and make people feel sorry for him, which is the usual BS for him. But wait, there's more. Well, he decided to put up a video of him trying to help a homeless family. Well, somebody's homeless family anyway. And, well, other people have noted uh, a little bit of an issue with it, which I shall get into momentarily. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Just wanted to check in with you guys and show you, look, still in Nashville. Still in Nashville, guys. And we'll be in Nashville for a long time. Because, you know, I live here. Just because I went and cleaned a hotel that I lived at years ago. Yeah, years ago, you could have said, oh, Jeremiah, I live there. Oh, come on now. Jerry, we all know that you're a transient, that you move from place to place. You never stay for anywhere for too long anyway because, well, you usually get chased out. Isn't that right? You claim to have job after job after job, but... Well, you keep on appearing on uh, YouTube every other day and e-bagging, so something's not right there. I did years ago, and trust me, that hotel was not ran down like that back when I lived there. Anybody knows that. Hell, our room was fucking spotless, and to this date, he rents that room out at a higher rate than any other room because... The way we took care of it and actually fixed it up. Yeah, dude. Uh, and all we have is your word to go on this. Uh, yeah, I'll buy it when I see it. Or uh, somebody with some actual credibility comes along and supports that. But until then, you're just a lying frauditor at this point to me. When we stayed in it. But, no, I stay here in Nashville, thank you. Wait. Wait a second. Wait a second here. Is that it? Is that the infamous e-begging wagon that, you know, you know the one that appeared on TikTok with some mystery family? The one that claims he claims isn't his own? Isn't his wife Sabaxa? And you never got to see the little girl inside the wagon because... Well, she was hidden by the sign the whole time. And previously to that video, there was a uh, video of an arrest where that wagon with his uh, child appeared in it with Sabaxa standing next to it with that same yellow shirt. Oh, Jeremiah, you are quite the grifter, but you're not very smart. Uh, not a big secret of where I am. I mean, all you gotta do is look at the nearest Motel 6 to where I am right now and you know where Jeremiah is. I'm not hiding nothing. I don't have anything to hide. I'm not the one that hides behind fake accounts. Um, I'm not the one who takes other people's content and slanders their name and calls it fair use. Well, me personally, I don't slander anybody. I call it like I see it. And there is a line that I absolutely will not cross as far as what I call people because that can get you into some serious trouble. But that doesn't stop people from your side. And I'm not saying that you do it. So don't quote me as saying that because I'm not saying that. But there are people that on your side do slander people on our side. People like Kim Tactic? That's not me. That's you, loser boy. As far as me, I'm living nicely. I'm doing fine. Do I need help? Oh yeah, guys, I always need help. Any donations is always greatly appreciated. Because you know why? Because I'm not a millionaire. 
I struggle day to day, live paycheck to paycheck. I'm out busting my ass doing what I gotta do to take care of my little girl and you motherfuckers still want to dog and criticize me and dox me for it. Oh, come on now, dude. As many times as we've heard you say that you have this job or that job and uh, it never seems to pan out for you or you get this job or and you say you had it for a while and then you blame it on us every time you lose that job. Well, dude, you are the one to blame for that with your man, nasty little attitude that you got. I mean, I certainly would want to hire you if... Uh, seeing all your videos and everything that you do. And that's part of the problem, the way you put yourself out there, dude. So maybe if you cleaned yourself up a little bit, I mean, by cleaning up your act, maybe you get a job. And maybe you'd be able to actually support your family instead of being a uh, frauded or loser at this point in your life. I mean, you've got that little girl to think of. Uh, or for the next few years, as long as she hangs around and calls you daddy. Well, now, guys, I'm going to have to cut it off right here because there's only so much I can take of this pathetic little loser. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.